Hi guys, coming to you again with uh, another boat project, 05 Tahoe 215. I uh, just got it last year. The steering on it was real stiff. Wasn't sure if it was steering cables or something wrong with the power steering pump itself. Uh, but so I disconnected the steering cables. You see down here, I've got the old one and the new one here. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. It's a 15 foot cable. I just want to give you guys a little demonstration of how I how I know it was the steering cable. This is the new one, and it slides with pretty minimal effort. The old one, I don't even think I can pull it. I can't even pull this thing. It is gunked, rusted. For a 15 year old boat, I guess that's to be expected. Just like on a lawnmower cable, those things get rusted up in a couple of years, so it's not surprising that this one, 15 years, would be that much trouble. Uh, I come down to the end here, and you can just see how dirty it is. Just the difference. This thing just came in the mail today. So, just the difference. This thing is all gunked up, and this, a little bit of leaves, but other than that, that thing is just super gunked. Uh, this is a Seastar Salute, Seastar Solutions cable, which the original one is a Teleflex, and I think Seastar is making them for Teleflex now. Let's go back down to the other end and see the serial numbers on. This is the best way to to get these to match these up so here's the original teleflex this is the uh, serial number or part number i guess ssc 13415 the 15 is the length of it on these teleflex cables so here c star solutions they're making the replacement cables now same part number 13415 uh I didn't film taking it out, but I am going to give you guys some step-by-step uh, -step to get it back in. Taking it out is just the just the reverse. Um, this is almost always the problem with the steering is these cables. It's usually not anything to do with the power steering. As long as your fluid's good and you're holding a good uh, level in the reservoir, and you don't see any, really any leaks, then I wouldn't worry about the power steering pump at all. All right, let's. Uh, Get these in there and we'll keep going. Pause it. Okay, here on the dash, there's just a few screws that hold it in place, and that's got to come out. And there is no other way to access this thing. There's nothing underneath here, and even around back. This little compartment, the storage compartment, like there's no way. To access the steering through there you have to do it all through the dash so this, this comes out a little bit it just kind of lays here and you got to reach through and the way so down here this metal plate is a bracket holding the steering wheel so you got to go down underneath that plate and you got to come in from this side coming from here with the end go down underneath this plate continue it through back through the side and then you run it through the gunnel all the way back all the way back around here and so here it's going to plug in right here go through there this is your power steering system. Here's where it's going to attach in to this bracket. Right down there in that hole. And it just goes in with a, a pin and a, and a cotter pin here. And we'll zip tie some of it up and out of the way onto a few things inside the gunnel. So it's not just dangling around. Okay, so we got fish through there. 
I put a little bit of Teflon tape on here. It had a little bit of like pipe dope thread sealing on there. So we're gonna put that on there. And we'll put a little bit of uh, uh, grease in that tube as well to help lubricate that as well. And we're gonna put a little bit of extra grease back over here at the helm. We're gonna put a little extra grease in there too, just to smooth everything out. So down inside there is the the steering wheel gear itself. Let's try to get a good shot of it. I don't know if you guys can see it down there or not. So anyway, they're facing up, so come back out onto the gear here. That has to be facing down so that they'll meet up together. I'm going to put a little extra grease down on the gear inside. This one's pretty greased up from the factory, so we won't have to do that. But we'll get it put in there, and we'll hook it up in the rear. What do you want me to do this one? All right, we got it all hooked up. We're done. Back here, the toughest part was probably getting that pin in right here just because the hole wasn't particularly lined up it had to be twisted a little bit just used a screwdriver to, to twist it line it up and then i put a pair of put a pair of pliers down on here just lightly to hold it in place while i stuck that pin in that was probably the trickiest part of this end of it got that tightened up not too much because this internal shaft here, this shaft spins. It's got a couple little grooves for a wrench here. It'll fit so you can hold it in place, but it spins. See? So you need to hold that while you tighten that, that nut there. But uh, it's a 7 8 wrench, fits right on there, holds that in place. Gotten it all put on. Um, it should be good for the steering. Uh, the only other thing you need to do is just kind of make sure that the steering wheel is lined up with the direction of the engine. I mean, this has got some natural play to it, so it should be pretty close. Um, from what I can tell, just from moving it here, it's pretty, it's pretty much lined up. But you may have to just loosen the four bolts in there, get your steering wheel right, set it back down. Just make sure it's lined up. I may have to do it again once we actually run and put it on the water. But for now, that's it. All right, guys. Good luck.